Hello beautiful people, welcome, welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Barbara and I'm a US based Cameroonian YouTuber. And if you're an oldie, thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos. I love and appreciate you guys so very much to all my old and new subscribers. So in today's video, as you can already tell from the title, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys a bedside nursery tour or a shared nursery tour. So we're currently sharing our master's bedroom with a newborn baby. He's a month old now, one month. He's five weeks currently. So we're sharing a room with him. We have four other kids. So together we have five children in this household. So yes, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how we organize, how I organize because I'm doing it, right? So I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I organize and manage to make this work for us so if that's something oops <laughs> if that's something you're interested in look at little man daddy say hi this is outfit <laughs> i wore this just for the video mommy's number one fan <laughs> look at that mommy's number one fan show yourself show yourself so hey guys welcome welcome back to the channel it's Barbara here again if you're new to the channel please hit on that subscribe button down below so you never miss an upload from me as you can already tell from the title I'm gonna be sharing with you guys a shared bedroom tour a shared nursery tour or a shared bedroom tour because we're currently sharing a bedroom with a newborn he's five weeks old as of now so we have four other children um we have four other children so together in this household we have five children so we're sharing a bedroom with him since he's still a newborn he's gonna spend some time with us maybe about six months and then we're gonna figure out where he's gonna be sleeping or maybe a year the others went close to a year so yeah I mean for now it's working so I'm gonna share with you guys how we managed to make this work in this room yeah it's been working for us so far five weeks so good so yeah if that's something you're interested in continue to watch the video and don't forget to leave me a thumbs up if you find the video interesting helpful motivating in one way or the other yeah we make videos on lifestyle motherhood a little bit of beauty fashion everything that we everything that catches my eye i can make a video on so and we also receive suggestions here if there's something you want to see on this channel just let me know in the comment section below and i'll be sure to do that video for you or i'll politely tell you i can so it doesn't hurt trying right so let's jump straight into the Mommy? yeah that is working So just for the simple fact that I just don't want things laying around because we already have enough stuff in the room already I decided to keep the breast pillow underneath the bed it's still in its original package a plastic covering so it's very secure under the bed is clean so I just pull it out when I'm ready to use it and that's been working for me yeah <laughs> Another thing I want to share with you guys is this lounge bench in our room. I use this bench just to relax with the baby when I'm trying to put the baby to sleep or even when I do want to breastfeed him. Sometimes I do use the pillow, sometimes I don't. Yeah, because I mean, sometimes it's not needed, but when I get, when I get really comfortable, I mean, I do use the pillow. And the good thing about this pillow is that it goes all the way around your body and you can strap it to get it secure so it's in place it doesn't move around because if you don't strap it it can move around the baby can just sink and go down so yeah baby boy was hungry this is just me breastfeeding him yeah 
sometimes breastfeeding like that's the easiest way for me to put him to sleep when i'm he's sucking and latching like that before you know it he's knocked out already so this bench is comfortable i can lean my back i can stretch my foot and i have a little basket around there where i keep like blankets where if i'm cold i can just put it on myself or on him and you know get comfortable because it's all about comfort motherhood needs to be enjoyable no stress okay i know it's not easy so we have to find ways to make it easy for ourselves so yeah So I know this video is just going to be all over the place, but I'm just trying to show you guys how functional things get. So I'm, I'm again at the side of my own bed. So I'm going to change baby boy right now. This is what I do when he is wet or maybe wake up in the night and I need to change his outfit or in some sort, which is rarely the case. But in case I have to do that, I have the, the cart around me and it has wheels on it. It's easy to move around the house. So yeah i'm gonna change him real quick so you guys can see i have everything in there his clothes his diapers wipes some other products so it comes in very very handy also do have a changing mat in case he has a poopy or wet diaper So also in our room, we have this bassinet or travel bed where the baby sleeps. This is very portable. You can move this around the house. So yeah, it folds into a very compact bed. So baby boy is here. I just brought him in to put him in the bed so you guys can actually see. And yeah, this is where he's been sleeping. has been working great for us. As you can see, he's comfortable. And I have a little blanket in there, which I take out when he's ready to sleep look at baby boy <laughs> and it's so funny how his outfit is matching his bed <laughs> that's so cute look at my baby <laughs> oh my so at night time hobby pulls this to his own side of the bed since his side is more spacious and So after baby boy has eaten and I know he doesn't have a wet or poopy diaper, I know he's comfortable, it's just me to rock him to sleep. So I'll just lay on this lounge bench also and just rock him, play with his hair. Just trying to soothe him to put him in a good soothing mode to sleep. I don't know how to explain this, but yeah, as you can see, I'm just rubbing on his hair. He has lots of hair, so I'm just rubbing on it, making sure he gets the comfort that he needs. Yeah, and if he hasn't burped, if I give him, if he hasn't burped, then I'm just going to make sure he has, he burps. And then before you know it, he's going to fall asleep. And some days are not like that. Some days he'll be opening his eyes and looking at me like, who is this? Who is this? And those are the days that I want. I'm dreading for him to go to bed. Okay, I'm changing position right now because he's getting... He's getting there. He's getting there. You see? Okay, he's already sleeping. I said it's very low. So this is a pillow I use for breastfeeding. I had shared this with you guys that I do. I got this when I had the twins. It's a breast friend pillow. So it's meant to breastfeed like twins. But I just use it for the little man. Because I didn't really use it with the girls. Because I didn't breastfeed them for that much. So yeah. And right now, if you're new to the channel, I'm doing not solely breastfeed i'm doing both combination of breastfeed and formula so yeah i'm gonna put that away it comes in this bag you can even see like the picture here it says for twins twins plus my best friend okay my best friend pillow so 
let's put that out of the way so another thing i want to share is this caddy i picked up this one from tj maxx and it comes in very very handy this just normally stays on here and i have the cat around the house and sometimes i can take this upstairs if i take do take the baby upstairs so yeah we just have grab water and this is a night grab water that we use and with the syringe and yeah we just have some petroleum petroleum jelly i had used this when i was using this when i was when he was newly circumcised i was using this on his wee wee and here we have this for his nostrils and i have the comb i just keep that here so i had to do a voice over here because daddy was changing the baby and he was crying so i just have wipes petroleum jelly other things that i keep in the diapers and yeah and the changing mat if he has a wet or poofy diaper I make sure i put that underneath him so he doesn't mess up the bed because i change him on the bed and i also have a change of clothes and a receiving blanket in there yeah just those are just the things i carry in there burp cloth so yeah it comes in really really handy So that's what I have. I have the card there. It's rolling. So I'm just gonna move this out of the way to share with you guys. So that's the time three, um, thirteen. Just picked up the kids from school. Just have a picture here, and I have this salt lamb. I use this as a night lamb for the for the baby when I want to change him. And I also have this bright light right here. Yeah. So I always have my water bottle here because I try to stay hydrated and I use this coaster in here. This is just a, a decor piece. So in this first drawer, I have my Bible and just some spiritual stuff. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. And I have this bedroom, just random stuff in here. Camera bag. And I have some pads that i also used to change him like a night um brought this from the hospital and my bible is there my bible is back there so just some random stuff for me and this second drawer i just have his sleeping bags which i just have some onesie sleeping bags i have two of them and i have a box of tissue here i don't like leaving it out because the kids come and mess with it and the bottom drawer i just have some extra beep some um, outfit just other random stuff and i have some burping cloth socks i don't use that so let's jump into the main card so in this card i also have another caddy a diaper caddy this comes out so and my cat is from ikea i love this ikea one i know target carries it sometimes tj maxx ross you can find them find them at different places but the most popular ones are ikea and i think target so in here i have some diapers i have some diapers i have some diaper bags where i can put like poopy and wet diapers and normally usually i put like some wipes in here around or i just have a pack of wipes it just depends so and what i have in here i have shampoo yeah i use this i carry this in the bathroom too another shampoo dove shampoo and i just have dove lotion right now i do use aquaphor on him and yeah i just have this destine um for diaper rash i have this uh, and i have this here i have this petroleum jelly so and here in this pocket i do have some tylenol infant tylenol what is it okay infant tylenol i have this um thermometer i have his hairbrush and his comb is somewhere in a different thing and yeah i just have this <laughs> this um, baby safety swabs just have them there and i keep this um 
freshly picked moccasin here just in case i need it i just like to grab it from there and i have a johnson and johnson baby powder so that's what all i have in the first um compartment the most the top compartment that's what i have in there so the second one i have some outfits so yeah i have a uh, have like um a set of outfits i have two extra outfits back there and i just iron them and keep them just in case i want to use them it's all set and good to go and i have and yeah i have some swaddle blankets i have three of them i just put them there come in very very handy and the bottom drawer and i also have this i got this from tj maxx so i use this on the second drawer and i have two of them in that size and here i also have some small ones it came as a set so back there i have like had some um, mittens which he never got to use and I have some burping cloths. I just put them there. And I have washcloths here. Have some washcloths here. Have more beeps and stuff. So those are all the things. I do have my pump somewhere out. So I don't keep my pump here because I don't pump at night. So I breastfeed him at night mostly. Yeah, and in the morning I pump. So I don't have it here in the room. But so that's how it looks that's the card it rolls has wheels on the feet three shelves bottom middle and yeah and it's adjustable somewhere around here so I just keep that here at night during the day I roll it around the house so yeah again that's the overview of my side of the bed that's how it looks. Yeah, this is the bathtub that we share. I give him his bath here and I use this cup for water. He haven't started using the bath toys yet, but I just have it there. And this is what I use this summer's off to give him his bath and i have this grip thing that i also use because i don't want it to slide and yeah so that's it i also share this top with him because this is where i keep my my pamper stuff and on this side i have okay this one is for me i just have my bath um my salt soak and I just have some random stuff, some bath bombs in there. And this is just for me. And these are the things I use this Dove head to toe wash for him. And I also use this Cetaphil baby soothing wash. It's also head to toe. It's for the body. So yeah, and I use this. So I just have the things I use for him. Just uh, Those are just the three things. I use I just have some of them sitting there here I just have his um her dirty hamper this is what I use for him so I just keep it here it wasn't here it was in the closet but I just brought it out here so this is where I keep his dirty clothes tower stays in here this is generally where we keep um, um towels so I just have a spot for him so I have his tower here and also his bathrobe so the last but definitely not the least i have this um thing this is where i keep his clothes so i just keep some extra clothes there and i have two of those i have two of those i'm not gonna like i have other things in that one and yeah i have his more soap yeah i have more soap body wash I have more of the stuff, just some random stuff that I keep there for him. Um, storage, I have some lotion, baby lotion. I mean, she's not organized. Well, for the most part, somehow it is, but yeah.